In this video, I'll be talking about managing stowaways found on ships. In this regard, I'll be talking about what are stowaways, what actions to be taken to prevent stowaways from coming on board, and what actions should be taken once stowaways are found on board. The legal requirements will be specified as well. This video is of course only for the use of mariners who sail on ships and who may encounter stowaways on board their ships. We'll start with the definition of a stowaway and what a stowaway means. The IMO or the International Maritime Organization defines a stowaway as a person who is secreted on a ship or in cargo which is subsequently loaded on the ship without the consent of the ship owner or the master or any other responsible person and who is detected on board the ship after it has departed from a port or in the cargo while unloading it in the port of arrival and is reported as a stowaway by the master to the appropriate authorities. In this regard, it is very important that every ship carries out stowage checks to ensure that there are no stowaways on board. New measures are incorporated into the FAL convention. FAL stands for Facilitation of Maritime Traffic Convention stipulate that flag states shall require ships entitled to fly their flag to undergo a thorough search in accordance with a specific plan or schedule when departing from a port where there is a risk that stowaways may have boarded. Passenger ships are to be exempted from the requirement. In this regard, the ISM also has developed checklist for stowaway search to be carried out and this ISM checklist is adapted to specific ships based on the specific compartments that may be found on ships where the stowaways may be hiding. The new measures also call upon public authorities, port authorities, ship owners and their representatives as well as ship masters to cooperate in preventing stowaway incidents. Among other things, they specify the regular patrolling of port areas and the establishment of special storage facilities for cargo particularly susceptible to stowaway access and continuous monitoring of persons in cargo entering these areas. At this point, I must tell you that recently or in the past few years, it has been found that many a times ports in certain ports, of course, port authorities have been found to be colluding with these stowaways and assisting them in boarding ships illegally. This is why seafarers should maintain vigilance, should be very alert in such ports and should continuously patrol these ships and make sure you can carry out a thorough stowaway search to prevent stowaways from being found on your ships. To prevent stowaways from occurring or rather being found on your ships or to be found hiding in your ships, make sure that all entrance doors, hatches and means of access to cargo holds or stores which are not used during the ship's stay in port should be locked. Access points to the ship should be kept to a minimum and be adequately secured and areas seaward of the ship should also be adequately secured and monitored. This of course requires manpower so make sure you allot adequate manpower to monitor the ship and the access areas. Adequate deck ports should also be kept. Boarding and disembarkations should where possible be tallied by the ship's crew or others and adequate means of communication should be maintained. At night, adequate lighting should be maintained both inside and along the hull as well as on the sea side of the ship. The new standards recognize and reinforce the right of the stowaways that do slip through the net to fair and human treatment. They state that contracting governments shall require masters of ships entitled to fly their flag to take appropriate measures to ensure the security, general health, welfare and safety of any stowaway while on board, including providing him or her with adequate provisioning, accommodation, proper medical attention and sanitary facilities. At this point, I must make sure that I tell you that if a stowaway is found on board your ship and the ship's crew or the master is unaware and it reaches a port and the stowaway tries to escape in that port, often cases of human trafficking have been filed on the ship's crew. So this is, makes it very important for the ship's crew to be very alert and be very aware if any stowaways are being carried on board their ships or not. I must tell you my own personal experience where I actually found stowaways on my ship in a locked container, a locked empty container that was placed on the fifth high stack of a row of containers. So it's very important that you not only monitor the cargo, the ship, 
as well as the you must also monitor the cargo being loaded on your ship so make sure you check the containers there was nothing much we could do unfortunately like i said the port authorities were mixed up in all this but keeping a vigilancy keeping being alert and making sure that you are proactive in checking the containers may deter some of these accidents from occurring on your ship ship owners should instruct their masters not to deviate from the planned voyage to seek the disembarkation of stowaways discovered on board the ship after it has left the territorial waters of the country where the stowaway originally embarked unless permission to disembark the stowaway has been granted by the public authorities of the state to whose port the ship deviates or repatriation has been arranged elsewhere with sufficient documentation and permission for disembarkation or if there are extenuating security health or compassionate reasons i can give you an example that was that occurred on my ship we actually were in a port in one of the ports in africa and uh, after departure port we actually found some stowaways and uh, lucky for us those stowaways could be disembarked in south africa so before we left the coast of africa we were provided permission with disembarking the stowaways in south africa stowaways found inadmissible in the country of disembarkation should be returned from their port of disembarkation to the country where they boarded the vessel the public authorities of the state of embarkation shall not return such stowaways to the country where they were earlier found to be inadmissible when a port state has refused disembarkation of a stowaway that state should without undue delay notify the flag state of the ship carrying the stowaway of the reasons for refusing disembarkation now this is a challenge that is faced by seafarers as well as the ship owners because most of the stowaways they do not carry any kind of identification document they do not have passports and it becomes very difficult for you to identify or rather uh, relate them to a country because every country will refuse to accept stowaways once the ship has departed the port in this regard the mutual pni clubs which stand for protection indemnity clubs or insurers also publishes advice on action to be taken to prevent stowaways from boarding a vessel the uk pni published information on the handling of stowaway issues in a variety of countries such as brazil kenya south africa and the west coast of usa a form of stowaway details is recommended by the fal convention as well and the copy is included in this presentation seafarers are reminded to make themselves familiar with these guides and publications to ensure that stowaways do not are not found on board your ships however once you find the stowaways it is very similar to what you do when you find people rescued at sea you have to treat the stowaways humanely and with respect do not hit them do not strike them and do not abuse them in any way make sure you also do not become over friendly in the past there have been incidents when seafarers have become friendly with the stowaways and allowed them to intentionally escape or escape accidentally if they are in large numbers try to keep them divided and under lock especially because as soon as they see the port they may try to become violent overpower you and try to jump off the ship to escape make sure the compartments in which they are kept the port holes or the windows of those compartments are kept covered so that they are not able to see what is happening outside often it happens that if they see that the port is nearby from their port holes they try to escape do not make them work on the ship make sure you provide them with food water and shelter and tend to any injuries follow the instructions given by your owners or charters or port authorities where stowaways are to be disembarked disembark stowaways at the soonest and the best opportunity available to you make sure you update the crew list and fill in the fal convention form that i will show you towards the end of the presentation make a note of inventory of items found on persons like i said before it will be very rare that you will find any kind of identification documents or passports but make sure that whatever you find you make an inventory of those items take lots and lots of photographs and evidence i can't stress enough on how many photos and evidence you should be collecting make sure that you try to get witness statements reports sign testimonials if possible also from the stowaways very fine that they were treated humanely and with respect because in the past it has happened that once the stowaways disembarked they made false accusations or accusations against the 
ship's master and the ship's crew accusing them of treating them inhumanly and disrespecting them make sure that you keep your owners and charters and agents informed throughout provide them with daily updates if possible send them evidence as you collect them before i end i must show you the form that is required by the fal convention to be filled in case stowaways are found of course you may not be able to fill some of these details because some of the time the stowaways also refuse to provide you with the details but fill whatever you can and then attach the photograph of the stowaway and attach as much evidence as you can regarding how you treated the stowaway when they were found on the ship i hope this short video was good enough for you to understand what are stowaways and what actions should be taken to prevent them from coming on board and what to be done once or in the unfortunate event that you find them on board so i'll see you soon with my next video guys let me know what you thought about this video bye